Shalom. 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 And this is the brother Amawan Ibad and the brother. Tazman Kabar. The brother. Uraria. The brother. Hakam. And uh, we're here to do a video, okay? Uh, in the name of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Before we go any further, we're going to get all honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh Bashem El Shai Bashem El Kakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. All right? Um, and if I didn't say so, uh, we're the brothers from the GMS Miami camp. Okay? And uh, what we're going to be getting into today is um, a lesson on um, prophecy, man. Okay? Right, it's 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 all about prophecy, okay? Where we where we is right now, okay? They could no longer um, scoff at this word, okay? Uh, and act like they don't see what's going on because clearly there's a whole lot going on, okay? All the signs that the Lord uh, left us and the scriptures and, and, and told us from the book of Matthew, the 24th chapter. You know, in these times, how it would be in these times, wars and rumors of wars, okay, which is prophecy. And we see these things happening, man. So right now, you know, clearly it's all about prophecy, man, okay. And, and the scoffers cannot, they cannot scoff anymore because these things are clearly being seen in the earth. You see? You got something? Yeah. Go ahead, brother. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Mm -hmm. It says, Behold, speak thou in the, in the ears of my people mm -hmm. the words of prophecy. Which mm -hmm. I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. You can speak on it. And this, and I'm read it again. Once again, I'm gonna speak on it. This second Ezra chapter 15, verse one. Says, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, which I will put in thy thy mouth, said the Lord. You know, and that's what we do on our highways and byways. All right, these words of prophecy that we're speaking of is from the inspiration of Yahweh by Shemuel mm -hmm. All right, and who are we speaking to? We're speaking to the nation of Israel. It's consisting of the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Mm -hmm. All right, also we starting with the elect. All right, that's right. Yeah, we 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 here to uh, to let you know that salvation is um, open unto you. Mm -hmm. And all those of you that would be. Uh, activated in the, in the latter days at these times, predestinated from the foundation of the world to see uh, the Lord's salvation within his borders, man. You know, those of you who are going to take heed to this word uh, and give uh, diligence to make a calling of an election sure mm -hmm. to adhere to these words uh, and, and turn back to the Lord and repent because, you know, that the Lord is going to be your covering from the destruction that is about to come, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, 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 the impending dangers that is prophesied to come. World War Three. And all of these things, you know. So we, we, we in holy conversation, man. We speaking of, we redeeming the time because because the days are evil. Mm -hmm. We we doing uh, the things, okay. That's gonna keep us in good grace with the Lord to keep that covering, man. Redeeming the time, trying to do things to pay back uh, for what we where, where, where we went off and transgress against the Lord. We trying to adhere to the words of the Lord and do the right thing. Okay, being in holy conversation, speaking of these prophecies, man, somebody get our Revelation 19 and 10. Because, right, we know the testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy. You know, and that's the scripture say to, to covet, to prophesy, okay, and forbid not to speak with tongues. Okay, so you're supposed to want to prophesy, man. Okay, especially when you see these things hitting and, and the prophecies jumping off the page and coming to pass. That's supposed to boost up your faith, man. You know, and who got it? I got it. Go ahead. It's Revelation 19 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. And as I fell to, at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant. Mm -hmm. And of thy brethren that they that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, mm -hmm. worship the most high, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's it. The testimony of our Lord is the spirit of prophecy, man. So if you come in uh, and, 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 the, and the, uh, the way of the Lord, you're supposed to want to prophesy, man. Mm -hmm. You know, so if, 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 if somebody out there, they're trying to minister, but they ain't dealing with the prophecies, they ain't in the right, right. spirit. Right. They're not in the right spirit, man. He's supposed to prophesy somebody get Jeremiah 28 and 8. Okay, because the brother Kabbalah was just going into, you know, how uh, 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 we sent on to our people. Okay, but we, 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 we let the nations know their fate too, as prophets, mm -hmm. you know. This is, uh, when we get another? Right? Yeah. This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 28, verse 8. Mm-hmm. The prophets that have been before me mm -hmm. and before thee of old prophesied both against many countries mm -hmm. 
and against great kingdoms mm -hmm. of war and of evil and of pestilence. Right. So, 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 so we also prophesy against other nations too. You know, let them know their fate. You know, we, we speak the words of the Heavenly Father, man, because at the end of the day, you see, it's the, the Most High who ruled in the kingdom of men. Mm -hmm. You see, he set it up one over another. So certain time, a time will come where, you know, a, a prophet have to let somebody know, might be of another nation, what what the word what the word of the Lord is. Mm -hmm. You got something? Yeah, I got something. Go ahead. You, you uh, still, still speaking? Yeah, no, you got it. And just to back up the point, because yes, when we do prophesy to our people, mm -hmm. we also prophesy towards um, the nation, telling them what's um, about to come for them. Mm -hmm. All right, so I got this quick one real quick, then I'm going um, to pass it back to you. You got it. This is Isaiah chapter 34, verse 1. Mm -hmm. It says, Come near ye, That's right. come near ye nations, That's it. hear and hearken. Mm -hmm. Ye people, let their earth hear and all that is therein. The world, the world and all things that come forth of it. Mm-hmm. All right, this is us, you know, because we also do on the highways, you know, tell not only um, our people, but also to the heathen nations, right. not only Esau, right. you know, their future. Right. All right, tell them, tell them about what's about to come past their um, to their kingdoms, or right, what's about to, what's about to play out mm -hmm. for them too. Mm -hmm. All right, it says verse two. It says for the the nation of the Lord Yahweh by sing out signs upon all nations mm -hmm. and his fury upon all their armies. Right. He had he had utterly destroyed them. He had delivered them to the slaughter, and part of the prophecy is telling them that you know their their kingdoms are about to be destroyed, man. Right. All right. Not only that, we here to save our people of a nation of Israel, that ultimately they elect, but we about to tell them that you know the heathen nation starting with Esau, mm -hmm. you know your kingdom about to go you know crashing down, man. Right. All right. You got it. That's it. <laughs> That's it. You got something? Yeah, I got something. <clears throat> go ahead. This is uh, Jeremiah thirty, and verse four, and these are the words. The most high spake concerning Israel and concerning Judah. Mm -hmm. For thus say the Lord, we have heard a verse of trembling, of fear, and out of peace. Right, and this is and this is a future prophecy. Okay, we 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 right in that time, man. We mm -hmm. seeing all the infrastructure being put together for these prophecies. You see? Go ahead, Jacob's trouble. Mm -hmm. Ask see now and see whether there's a man travail with child. Uh -huh. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins, as a woman in travail, and all face turned into paleness. At last, for the day is great, so that there is none like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, right. for he shall be saved out of it. Right, so you ask yourself, who is Jacob? You know, Jacob is the progenitor of the, of the patriarch of the 12 tribes of Israel. Thus, we are the Israelites. And the Bible coined a time of trouble for you, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called. The Bible coined a time for you of Jacob's trouble, man, a time of trouble for you. You the target, man, Okay. That trouble time, that time of trouble for you. Now, other nations are going to be mixed up in it, but you the real target, man, mm -hmm. at the end of the day. Right. You see? <laughs> so, so knowing that, what manner of person ought you to be? You should be in holy conversation. You should be seeking the Lord. You should be doing whatever in your power to redeem the time, to do uh, what is whatever in your power to, to, to please the Lord, man. Because remember, the scriptures say, mercy and wrath come out of the most high, man. Okay, it's the Lord who's doing this at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You see? So how you think you can just do what you want to do and then look for mercy from the Lord? It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. You know, you got you to, gotta, you know, like the scripture said, Enoch, his testimony was that he pleased the Lord. Mm -hmm. You know, therefore he was, uh, he, he was never found. You know what I mean? He was, he was um, translated. Okay. Why? Because he, 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 he was pleased and found to be delight, delighting in the, light, in the eyes of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. If I may say it too. Um, another great account is Noah, man. Mm -hmm. and Noah, they were, they were, Noah, they were pleased. Noah, they were, was pleasing to the Most High. Not only that, he moved with fear right. and in faith, right. and, and and he found grace, you know, in, in Yahweh Shema Shai. And you go into that word grace, grace goes to the favor. Right. All right. That's why we ultimately warn our people, you know, also too. We trying to we 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 do what we could do that's pleasing to the Most High, so we could find that grace and favor that's within right. Yahweh Shema Shai. Mm -hmm. You know. But um, I have a quick, quick, quick one, real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, since we're talking about Jacob's trouble, this is Daniel chapter twelve, verse one. Mm -hmm. It says, "And at that time shall Michael stand up, mm -hmm. the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, mm -hmm. and there shall be there shall be a time of trouble such as never was. I mean, never was since there was a nation, even to this, even to 
even to that same time uh -huh. and at that time that people shall be delivered everyone, right. and everyone that shall be found written in the book mm -hmm. all right now you got to really when you read the scriptures you got to respectfully you know it's going to be a time that's worse than slavery mm -hmm. you know times are worse than things that you know us as a nation that gone, gone through to even to the fact where he, the lord is going to have his angels you know which the angels are already are around us but in a greater matter man right you know it's, it's, that's how bad these times about to get into right to the know, point you got to continue which is that's how bad it's about to get into it and this is you know our jobs as prophets to warn our people man mm -hmm. yeah so like you were saying it's going to be so bad that we're going to need divine intervention right you see that's how bad it's going to get we can't deliver ourselves from it mm -hmm. because esau he his, his blessing is the sword, man. That's right. You know, you you can't get away from them down robot dogs and all, and you need the 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 the, the, the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, the spread of the Lord resting upon you to keep you covered. Mm -hmm. You see, you got it. You are. This is Matthew twenty four, as your brothers were speaking about. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Jacob's trouble for then. Man, was like him. Matthew twenty four, verse twenty one. Mm -hmm. For then shall be a great tribulation, such as. Not since the beginning of the world. God, that's a, that's, that's a spirit, but I was thinking about that. That's what I asked to come to get that. God. Go ahead. To the to this time, no, mm -hmm. no ever shall be, mm -hmm. and except those days be shortened. So, so I can read that first verse again. That's twenty one. Read verse twenty one again. For then shall be a great tribulation, mm -hmm. such as was not since the beginning of the world. Right. To this time, no. No, nor shall ever be. Right. So that's Yahweh, our Lord, prophesied about seventy A.D. Okay, he was prophesying about uh, the tribulation that was going to come to Jerusalem with the Romans back in those times. Okay, right. but that's going to happen again in these times. Mm -hmm. And how do we know he's talking about these times also? Because when you read the next verse, it's going to tell you. Read, read on. And except those days be shortened, right? There shall no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, uh -huh. they shall be shortened. Right. So because of, for the so the elect for the elect sake, meaning in these times now. Showing you that it's going to happen all over again. No new thing under the sun. Mm -hmm. You see? Jacob's trouble, man. <laughs> a time like no other time before. You see? The brother just read it in Daniel 12. We're going to need divine intervention. And, and, and Esau, wouldn't he, he not going to stop, right? Except the Lord, right? Shorten the time. Mm -hmm. No flesh would be saved. So you know that's talking about this time, because right. the Lord said you're going to shorten the days for the elect's sake. You see? So that's that's what we up against, man. But the Lord said you're going to lift up that standard. Mm -hmm. The Lord said you're going to lift up that standard. Ah, I could come get Revel uh, Slack. Yeah, Revelation 12 and 12. Yeah. Oh, you got Revelation. Yeah, yeah, and then you can get Isaiah 59 and 19. That's I was at Revelation 12. I was at 17. But I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna go to 12. Okay, okay. Yeah, the, both of them. Both of them is this. So read uh, uh, 17. Uh -huh. Read 12 first, uh -huh. 12, and then read 17 because both of them speaking how how they gonna come against our people, and then make Isaiah 59, 19 be the third one. Uh, so this is Revelation chapter 12 mm -hmm. Verse 12 says Therefore rejoice ye heavens mm -hmm. And ye that dwell in them Woe to the inhabitants of the earth mm -hmm. And that word woe is destruction Right That says end of the sea For the devil is come down unto you Having great wrath Because he knoweth that he knoweth That he hath but a short time Right his rulership is coming to an end He don't want to be put out of power Okay, but he know he have, he have a certain bound according to Job the 14th chapter the 5th verse that he can't cross over that boundary. Mm -hmm. And and because he know he's running out of time, okay, he's going to act like that cat with his back against the wall. Mm -hmm. And start, he's he going he to come out of our people, man, with that sword, man, with his horns. He's going to start to show his horn because he's being exposed. You see? Go to the 17th. Uh, verse 17 is Revelation 12, verse 17. And mm -hmm. the dragon was wroth with the woman right. and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. Right, so that's Esau. That's yeah. Esau is power structure. Mm -hmm. You see, that woman is, is, is the nation of Israel, man. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. It says, with the remnant of her seed, mm -hmm. which keep keep the commandments of the Most High, you yeah, have the Most High and have the testimony of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Right. And that's why we say if you're not if you're not speaking about prophecy, you ain't talking about nothing, man. Mm -hmm. Okay? If these these plantation Christians come around you and they keep telling you, God love everybody. Oh, this, that, and that, and that. But they ain't talking about these prophecies. They ain't talking about how Babylon is gonna be destroyed. You see what I'm saying? So if they ain't talking about prophecies, they're not talking about anything, man. The testimony of our Lord we brought it already is the spirit of prophecy, man. That's the spirit which you gotta be in. So knowing that Esau is gonna come down the way he's gonna come down. Him being the sword of the Lord, 
Okay, according to Psalms uh, 17 and verse 13, right? Him being the sword of the Lord. Okay, you, ain't you supposed to use wisdom and look for that covering? Mm -hmm. Do the do the thing that's pleasing in the sight of the Lord. Be, you know, look, 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 seek the Lord, man, for your refuge. Okay, get get what you got, Kukum. Those are Isaiah 57, 59, and 19. It's Isaiah 59, verse 19. Right, this is your covering, man. When Esau decided to come down mm -hmm. heavily uh, uh, on you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, so-called who are Israelites, you're going to need a covering, man. And except you use the, your liberty and your great spirit to seek the Lord, you're not going to get it. You're not going to have mm -hmm. that covering if you don't use this time, what you got right now, this precious time to get this precious word. Go ahead. Isaiah 59, verse 19. Mm -hmm. So shall they fear the name of the Lord mm -hmm. from the west. Mm hmm and his glory from the rising of the sun. Right. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, mm -hmm. the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. Yeah, the, the, yeah, the Lord is going to lift up a standard against against this devil, man, because he's going to try to come against the Lord's people. But the Lord is going to lift up that standard. Okay, somebody get, um, what's that, Isaiah Isaiah 31 and uh, 5. The Lord is going to, going, to, going to defend his people, man. Isaiah 31 and 5. Yeah. This is Isaiah 31 and verse 5. As bird flying, mm -hmm. so would the Lord host defend Jerusalem, mm -hmm. defending also he would deliver it, mm -hmm. and passing over he would preserve it. He's going to preserve it, man. As birds fly, man, the Lord's coming in the, in the clouds, those chariots, man, what the world ignorantly calls UFOs, man. Okay? Those are the vehicles of our Lord, which is the vehicles of our salvation, man. Okay? The Lord is going to defend Jerusalem as a people before it's a place. Mm -hmm. You see? So the Lord is going to lift up that standard, man. But he's not lifting it up for some for some nigger. He's lifting it up for, for the elect, man. You see? You got some? Yeah. Go ahead. I got two quick ones real quick. Come on. This is Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. Uh, mm -hmm. priest that, you know, we love a lot. Mm -hmm. It says, The angel of the Lord, Yahweh, by Shai, and kept it around about them mm -hmm. that fear him and, <coughs> and delivered them. Mm -hmm. All right, you know, and we was that's great because earlier we was talking about divine intervention. Right, you know, it's to the point, you know, take a trouble, you know, Michael the Archangel who may have to be close to concert right. with the elect. Right, you know, so in point in time where the Lord is gonna have His angels uh, uh, kept around about the men of the Lord. Right, all right, the Lord is gonna have them where you know it shall not have them dash a foot against a stone. All right. right, He's gonna be around of them. Right, all right, and I jump down to verse seventeen. Mm -hmm. Um. No, verse 19, it's lucky. The Psalms have 34, verse 19. So that's Psalm 17. Read down to 19. Okay. Verse 17, the righteous cry and mm -hmm. the Lord hear it. Mm -hmm. that's, who, that's who cries the Lord I hear it, the righteous. Go ahead. And it says, and deliver them, deliver them out of all their troubles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it says, verse 18, the Lord Yahweh Shema Shai is not unto them that are of a broken heart mm -hmm. and save as such as be of a contrite spirit. That's right. So you got to be remorseful, sorrowful for the things that you've done. Confessing your sins that you transgress against the Lord and be remorseful about it, and you're trying to do better. You're trying to, uh, <clears throat> you're trying to be found pleasing in the sight of the Lord. <clears throat> you know, being meek and humble, man. You know, because we all come out of this world. You know, we all had our own ways. We was, we was off and doing, staying wicked. Because if you was, if you ain't serving the Lord, you're being wicked. You know, so I, so I'm sorry to burst your bubble if ain't nobody ever tell you. <laughs> you know, if you're not serving your Bashmi Shah, you must be. You doing wickedness because. That's just the way it is. You, you in, you in, you, you're not keeping his law, such as commandments. You're not seeking him. So, what do you think you're doing? You think because you go on the corner, you offer somebody some bread, this and that? No. You got to get into this word. You got to be seeking the Lord, man. With his true name, you how about Shimei Shai? You got it. This is the point. The last verse. It says many, many. Matter of fact, I'm, I'm gonna end off the chapter. Okay. Nineteen says many are are the afflictions. Mm -hmm. Of the righteous, but the Lord Yahweh Hashem Yahshai delivered them, delivered him out of them all. Right. Yeah. And the afflictions goes to troubles, man. Right. So even you know, even to you know, to come until the coming Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, we the elect is always going to go through you know some type of um, obstacle and type of trouble. Right. All right, but the Lord is going to have it where you know He's going to have them prevail, man. Right. The Lord is going to protect them in all ways, man. Mm -hmm. All right, brothers, may you receive spiritual power. You know, you know, angels gonna be around about them. Mm -hmm. You know, I even had a dream where a chair was walking amongst with me, man. Right. You know, 
Yeah, the script, the scripture says it's more be with us than, than down with they. Uh, even though you even though you can't see them, exactly. you know, that you just have to have that faith. Mm -hmm. You know, you believe in Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know that you're covered, man. Mm -hmm. You know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. That's that's what faith is, man. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to believe, man. Hey, the scripture says it's impossible to please him without faith. That's mm -hmm. right. You know, somebody get that. Because that faith, that that faith is going to be required of you, man. The Lord said when he returned, shall he find faith on earth. Mm -hmm. You know, the scriptures say also, uh, you know, have thou faith, have it to thyself before the most high. Roughly paraphrasing, you see. So that faith, man, is a, is a very important element of, of this thing of ours. You see? Some, you got it? Yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Slack here. <clears throat> In verse 20, he keepeth all his bones, mm -hmm. not one of them is broken. Evil, evil, shall, evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Mm -hmm. right, so those who come against the men of the Lord, the Lord is going to take care of them, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord is going to destroy them, man. Mm -hmm. And this is the last verse, and I'm going to um, pass, it back, pass it to you raw. Mm -hmm. The Lord, Yahweh Shema Shai, redeemed the soul of his servants, and none of them, it says, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate, man. Mm -hmm. All right, so the, on top of that, the Lord is not going to leave those who trust in him and those who've been seeking him right. hanging, man. Right. right. As the scripture said, man, King David said, man, he'd been, uh, he'd been young and he'd been old and he'd never seen the righteous seed begging bread. Mm -hmm. You see? And, uh, and what you just said, um, Sarah, Sarah chapter 2, verse 10, yeah. you know? Uh, look at the generations of old, old. Yeah. you see? <laughs> if, if any ever trust in the Lord was confounded, or uh, who in the Lord forsaken, man, roughly paraphrasing, you're going to find there's none. That's why you have to have that faith in the Lord that He's going to come true and deliver for you, man. You got it, bro. It's Hebrews 11, verse 6. Mm -hmm. But without faith, it's impossible to please Him. Mm -hmm. For he that comes to the Most High must believe that, it, that He is. Right. He is that true power, man, the creator of the heavens and the earth, mm -hmm. spoken into existence. Okay, give the blueprint to the angels to do the work. Okay? You got it. And that he is a rewarder of them that, deal, that did, diligently seek him. Right. He's a rewarder of those that diligently seek him. He's going to keep you covered, man. He's going to keep you covered. You see? And that's why we have to be into these prophecies, man. It's very important, man. It's very important. Very, very important. Somebody get Psalm 91, start at the top. It's very important, man. Because these things have to come to pass. It's going to come, it's going to come a time where people are going to start dropping like flies. Okay, you're going to see more people, more people being put to death by the thousands. And you're going to have to be okay with that because why? The Lord keeping you covered. You see? These are the times that we're getting, uh, coming into, man. Look at the war that's happening in, in, in Ukraine. That, that, that shit is expanding. That, that, that's World War Three, man. It's prophesied it must happen. Okay, World War Two was World War One was prophesied over two thousand years ago. Okay, Revelation nine and the twelve uh, verse. Mm -hmm. Okay, that came to pass in nineteen fourteen to nineteen seventy, man. Okay, Revelation eleven and fourteen speaks about World War Two. Okay, and World War Three. Okay, that came World War Two came to pass in nineteen thirty nine to nineteen forty five. Why would you think that World War Three is not going to come? Huh? The, 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 the words of the Lord doesn't return unto him void, man. Isaiah 55 and 11. So it's going to happen, man. You see? Get what you got. Mm -hmm. the top of Some of the side of the top. Because that covering, you see? That covering. You're going to have to have the truth of these scriptures, man. The spirit of the Lord. Wait, okay? Is it, is it Psalm 91? Yeah. Okay. It's Psalm 91, verse 1. Mm -hmm. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High mm -hmm. shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge, he mm -hmm. is my fortress, my power in him will I trust. We have to trust in the Lord, man, especially even more in these times, the times that we're coming into. You see, he's our, he's our rock of refuge. Read on. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler uh -huh. and from the noisome pestilence. Yeah, from the snare of the fowler, man, all the, all the traps and snares that are being uh, set, okay, especially in these times leading up. Okay, you just you just had people shoot that jump shot, man. Yep. Okay, that was another trap and a snare mm -hmm. for those who went ahead and, and you know what I'm saying? Which, which that's the spirit where Pfizer actually came out. Mm -hmm. Turns out they they didn't know they didn't actually have like they didn't really have facts or proof that it was going to actually prevent from the disease from transmitting or you know going to the next person person All actually right. having it you know stop. They just put it out there. They said it was like a like a um. They said it was the speed of science, something like that. Yeah, right? but they, see, they already knew because yeah. remember they, they they run the full length of trial that they're exactly. supposed to do anyway. You know what I'm saying? 
then do because remember they remember when it comes to those things it take like 10 12 years yeah, 10 years they never did that they never did that so what you know what did, what did people expect exactly. they stupid as all hell they was beguiled by the devil man mm -hmm. you see and not to and just to add real quick you know not to try uh digress off the topic but mm -hmm. All these damn vaccines, man, they were all authorized under the EUA, which is the emergency use authorization. Exactly. So none of that, none of those damn vaccines that, you know, none of those damn jabs, you know, that y'all took, uh, they were even uh, went through trials or any human trials. It so, was just some a, a cocktail that was, uh, you know, facilitated <laughs> in a damn laboratory, <laughs> and they, they shipped it out to you guys, and you guys op openly take it like with some candy. You see, and you see why, that, that's why we have to say to Wada Yahweh about Shimmy I was shot. I thought about that today. I was talking to uh, one or two, one or two, uh, one or two of my employ uh, co-workers today. We was talking about a specific subject, but I thought about that. And I was saying in my mind, I was saying, "See, that's what prevented me from taking that, 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 that from doing that. Mm -hmm. It was the scriptures. It was the word of the Lord. That's the covering we have." To what they are bashing me or shy? You know, some people didn't have that covering. That's mm -hmm. why they run and did it. To what they are bashing me or shy? I got a quick one just to back you up. Go ahead. Yeah, I'm, uh, 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 come got a quick one too. Mm -hmm. This is a, a Sirach chapter two, verse two. Mm -hmm. It says, "Set thy set thy heart aright and constantly mm -hmm. adhere." Mm -hmm. This this is the point. Make not haste. That's right. In time of trouble. That's it. All right. And he's you know we see a pestilence. The scripture already spoke about times of pestilence, man. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and you know the understand that the Lord is putting these things out. Right? Uh -huh. So what your mind says, all right, the Lord put these things out, playing mm -hmm. these things out. Uh -huh. All right, what should I do is cleave unto the Lord, you know, take the herbs. Right. And scripture says, nah, I, I, I pour the herbs, man. Right. And, and pray, man. Right. You, you wasn't, your your ideal mindset was not supposed to be, oh, I'm finna, oh, take the jab, man. That's, right. That's just a lack of faith, man. Right. That's so a lack, a lack of faith, not only that, that's so you being a disobedient to Yahweh Hashim man. Right. And a lot of these plantation Christian pastors, they didn't stand up. And they, all of these people them they up in these churches and they all them shoot a lot of them shoot them shots right. man right. okay showing you they ain't got no faith man mm -hmm. you see that the scripture say the, those that lead you cost cost you the error man you see what you got to come you got something yeah i was gonna say son and there's it, it, two points that i wanted to make too mm -hmm. one and, and we know in the scriptures you say never to trust our enemy too right. also right. also and then um two is that in the law, you ain't supposed to make your no decisions in, in your flesh, man. Right. So, you, hey, hey, you taking the jab, you fucked up, see? Man. See? You know? it, it all goes right back to the book again. Mm -hmm. Like we said, to what are y'all about Shimei Oshai? Because his it's, 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 it's spirit is in the book, man. The scripture tells you that. The word, uh, uh, St. John 6, uh, 6 and verse 63, okay? The, the, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, man. Mm -hmm. You see? It is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit in our life. So to this book, man, we was able to, to, to navigate around that. That's why Isaiah 33 and 6 says, Wisdom yeah, and knowledge shall be the, the stability of thy times. That's, that's what you got. Right Come on, yeah. bro. Go ahead, bro. This is the book of Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. Mm -hmm. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times mm -hmm. and strength of salvation. Right. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Right. Mm -hmm. You said well, that's why we need the Lord in all things. Mm -hmm. That's why we need the Lord in all things, man. We need that that guidance, man. The scriptures tell you that Proverbs 30, uh, like your 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean that on thine own understanding, man. Acknowledge him. That's why we acknowledge him. We say, Lord willing, tomorrow we're going to do this. Or Lord willing. That's, that, that's acknowledging the Lord. Acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. You know, you, you want to acknowledge the Lord so the Lord can direct your path in the right way. Because regardless, the Lord directs your steps anyway. Okay? Whether it be good or bad. Man's goings are of the Lord. Therefore, can a, how can a man understand his own way? So it would be it would behoove you to be doing uh, uh, the will of the Lord, meaning right. keeping yourself in the right way, man. You know what I'm saying? So, amen, and that's it. Keeping yourself in the right way, redeeming the time. Speaking about these prophecies by staying in the holy conversation, man. Okay? Because danger is on the way. Mm -hmm. right. And the only way to escape those dangers, because at the end of the day, it's the Lord who's creating it. Okay? Somebody get Isaiah 45 and 7. Who you think is doing it? This is Isaiah chapter 45 verse 7. Mm -hmm. I form the lights mm -hmm. and create darkness. Mm -hmm. I make peace and create evil. Mm -hmm. 
I, the Lord, do all these things. Yeah, so the people them who are not serving the Lord, they're going to have to go through this stuff, man. All right? And if they don't have a covering, what do you think is going to happen? You in this great spirit right now, the man of the Lord on the, on the highways and the byways, you got all these video epistles up on YouTube. Time for you to seek the Lord. And if you don't use this great spirit, the liberty period you got, the liberty period which you got right now to seek the Lord, if you don't do it, use it and seek him. So what does the scripture say? Uh, uh, Amos 8 and 11, uh, a farmer of the word is going to come. I got that right here. I've been Go ahead. I've been holding that. That's this is, prophecy. That, that's just Amos Right, that's eight. prophecy. It's, it's all about prophecy. You have certain times when things are going to close off, when things are going to happen. When that happens, when that closes off, the elect is sealed. Okay? The windows of mercy is closed. Mm -hmm. So you see how one thing acts with the other? Like, just like in chronological. Right. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. This is Amos 8 and verse 11. Mm -hmm. Behold, the days come, say the Lord. Mm -hmm. A power that I was in a famine in the land, mm -hmm. not a famine of bread, mm -hmm. nor a thirst for water, right. but of the hearing of the word of the Most High. Right, so a time's going to come where you ain't going to be able to get yourself right with the Most High anymore right. because you let that time pass you. Mm -hmm. Okay, the Lord measured the time with these prophets. Get um, second Ezra, uh, second Ezra chapter 4 at verse 37. Okay. And okay. What you got? No, those will finish it now. Go okay, ahead. go ahead. It's locked here. And they shall wander from sea to sea, right. from the north until the even to the east, right. they shall run to and fro to seek the words of the Most High right. and shall not find it. They ain't going to find it, man. What the scripture says, the scripture says it shall be a crying in the streets for wine, man, meaning mm -hmm. this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Right. The men of the Lord are not going to be on the highways anymore at that point. You, the Lord, speak, the scripture speaks about our uh, tongue being cleaved to the, the roof of our, uh, our mouth, man. Mm -hmm. You're not going to be a reprover to the people anymore. That's true. Okay? So these scriptures, they interact, the, 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 the prophecies, man. You, you find it, Kakum? Second Ezra 9. No, Second Ezra 4 and verse 37. This is Second Ezra 4, verse 37. Mm -hmm. By measure hath he measured the times, mm -hmm. and by number hath he numbered the times. Meaning these prophecies, uh-huh. And he doth not remove, Salakia, and he doth not move nor stir them. Right. Until the said measure be fulfilled. Right. Until the said measure be fulfilled. That's why, that's how we know World War III is not going to happen before the Karagma. You see, everything has its, its perfect timing. Mm -hmm. The World War, uh, uh, the Karagma must come before Armageddon. Mm -hmm. You see? And what he just read just now, I'll show you that everything is set up on the order at the time and the way the Lord set it up. And in none of them, somebody get uh, 34, uh, Isaiah 34 and uh, 16. Read it real quick. Go ahead. This 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40. Mm -hmm. Let all things be done decently in order. Right. So the Lord, the Lord set it up. Right? And, and it, it, it's in order. There ain't nothing going to come before the time. 34 and 16. Uh, Isaiah chapter 34, verse 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, mm -hmm. No one of these shall fail. Meaning the prophecies. Mm -hmm. No one of these shall fail. So what we just discussed just now, second is the uh, fourth chapter, the twenty-seventh verse. The Lord set it up, set up those prophecies, and 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 and, and measure the measure the time with them when they're going to come, okay? And he, none of them are going to fail. You see, read on. It says, "None shall want her meat." Meaning, no other book could be compared to the scriptures, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have all these other books. The scriptures say there's no end, right? But at the same time, none of those other books got prophecies in it, man. This is the book that told us that uh, we would go into uh, slavery, man, on slave ships. And it happened. Okay? Yeah. The, this is the living waters. Read on. It says, for my mouth it had commanded, uh -huh. and, and, and his spirit it had gathered them. That's right. So these, these prophecies are going forward, and they're popping like popcorn, man. Right. Okay? The, the will of the Lord is going to be done. And there's nothing you could do to get around that. Uh, somebody get uh, Isaiah. Uh, 46, start at 9. Read 9 and 10. Look, I got that. I have something real quick I want to bring up. Go ahead. This is Second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. Mm -hmm. He answered me then and said, Measure though the time diligently. Right. Right. That, that word diligently means uh, showing uh, care. Right. In itself. Mm -hmm. And what thou seest, 
part of the science pass, which I have told thee before, right? Then shall thou understand that it is the very same time, mm -hmm. which is we're in those times now, right? How do we know that? Let's keep reading. Mm -hmm. Wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, right? Mm -hmm. Therefore, when there shall be seen up uh, earthquakes and upwards of the people, mm -hmm. and we've been seeing that in the last few months and few years, mm -hmm. we've been seeing uprising of people all over the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm from the yellow vests in, in France. They're actually protesting in France right now again uh, uh, because gas shortages. Remember, they have energy crisis in Europe, all right? Mm -hmm. To the point they, they're protesting the, the, the shortage of gas so bad in France. They're talking about leaving NATO, yeah, okay? Right. They're talking about leaving NATO right now, man, all right? But that yellow vest thing was like three years ago, mm -hmm. okay? We saw it in America, okay? We saw it in enough countries, man, up to the people, January 6th. Mm -hmm. Capital. capital, all of these. See, so hey, <laughs> we seeing these things, man. How can you not say you're not seeing it? Wars and rumors of war. Look what happened in the new Ukraine, man. So it's all about prophecy, man. Can't escape. Yeah. You know, and what kind of set that off was 2020. Mm -hmm. You, you know, see, with, with these draconian measures and lockdowns that Esau was implementing, man. Mm -hmm. You notice that uh, throughout the whole entire world, not just here in America, but in France, uh, all of Europe. You know, mm -hmm. um, even in China, to the mm -hmm. point where they even have a damn social security system just in case you get out of line, they'll lock your ass up. Yeah, so hey, that's it, man. They're about to shut down the bank in India for like 20 days to put in a new system. Mm -hmm. Right. You right. see, all these people getting these CBD uh, digital, uh, what's it called again? CBD, uh, yeah, CBDC, yeah, uh, central, uh, central banking digital currency. currency. Right, right. Kind. So you see, that's where that's where it's heading, man. That's where it's heading, heading right up to the, mm -hmm. the infrastructures being built right up to Revelation 13 and 16 on down, the Karagma, man. <laughs> Prophecy, <laughs> man. That's, that's, that's the big one right there. Yeah, so you see? We, we don't, yeah. <clears throat> then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, mm -hmm. even from the beginning. Mm-hmm. All right, so hey, the Lord already told you guys what was gonna happen. That's, That's verse five. Verse five. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, mm -hmm. and the end is manifest. Right. Read, read down to verse six. Even so, the times also the highest have plain beginnings mm -hmm. and wonders and powerful works, mm -hmm. and endings and effects and signs. Yeah, we seeing all them signs right now, man. From the different colors of the sky, okay, to all of these different. You just seeing the signs, man. Signs of the time. Okay, the earth is being visited with storm and tempests, fire, hurricanes, tornadoes. Yep. Yep. You see? All that is prophecy, man, because the Lord says, Thou shalt be visited. Mm -hmm. Okay? With storm and tempest and all of these things, man. So it's, it's all prophecy, man. They love telling you about Mother Nature. This is the Lord doing <laughs> it, man. The scriptures say, right. Thine incorruptible spirit is in mm -hmm. all things. Mm -hmm. You see? You got Isaiah 46? Yeah. Saw that 9, read 9 and 10. It's Isaiah 46, verse 9. Mm -hmm. Remember the former things of old, for I am the most high, there is none else. Mm -hmm. I am the most high, there is none like me. Mm -hmm. Declaring the end from the beginning, mm -hmm. and from ancient times the things that are not yet done, mm -hmm. saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all at my pleasure. Right, that's it. The Lord is going to do all his pleasure. The will of the Lord is going to be done, man. Who, the scripture says, who can resist his will? All right? Who can resist his will, man? Okay? Mm -hmm. To the point, even down to that karagma, man. That's the Lord's karagma, man. You yeah. see, who you think is who you think is doing that? That's for the that's that's for the hour of temptation. Because mm -hmm. remember, you, 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 we all have to be tried, right? That's right? But the scriptures say, because we have kept the word of His patience, He also shall keep us from the hour of temptation. That's why we do the work. That's why we show forth our faith by going out on the highways and byways. Mm -hmm. Obeying the words of the Lord, uh, 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 rehearsing the righteous acts to the best of our ability, man. You see? And, um, if I may say, that's why it, it says in that it, it says in that specific scripture, it says, "I shall keep you." That's right. And, you know, so that so showing you that the Lord is going to be the one that's able to keep you from that time. Right. That's why we say, "Lord willing," you know. Right. right. Mm -hmm. It's the Lord who's doing it. Get second answers. Uh, second answers. Go back to where you were just now. Second answers nine could come and start at verse seven. Same thing, because it's the Lord. It's the Lord who's doing it. You see, it's it's, it's the Lord. It's the Lord who's doing it. <laughs> God, this is second answer chapter nine. Verse start seven. Verse seven. Uh huh. And everyone that shall be saved uh -huh. and shall be able to escape by his works, right, and by faith, mm -hmm. 
where where by ye have ye believed, have, right? Where, where by ye have believed, mm -hmm. shall be preserved from the said perils. Right, shall be preserved. <clears throat> That's the point right now, because uh, Revelation three and ten say, and I shall keep thee from the hour of temptation. The Lord said it. He's going to keep you. Mm -hmm. So it's right here, it's telling us that he's going to preserve you. Read it again. <clears throat> and everyone that shall be saved uh -huh. and shall be able to escape by his works. Meaning the elect. Uh -huh. And by faith, whereby ye have believed. Right. Shall be preserved from the said pearls. Right. And shall see my salvation mm -hmm. in my land. Right. And within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's the point. Hold, hold what you got. We're going to continue reading now. I know we're still in Psalms 91. Mm -hmm. But hold what you got right there. Quick. So that point right there, this night, say, shall be saved from the sad perils, man. That word perils. Remember 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1 says, and this know also that in the last days, true, perilous times true, shall true. come. When you go into that word perilous, it means dangerous. Okay, savage. Hard to bear. Hard to bear, hard to take, hard to do. You know what I'm saying? So these are the times that are upon us, man. Just why you need a covering. You see? That's weird because I got a definition of peril. Okay. It says serious and immediate danger. Mm -hmm. It says danger, jeopardy, risk, mm -hmm. hazard, mm -hmm. uncertainty. Mm -hmm. Even more synonyms. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. you got it. yeah. So you see, hey, man, we yeah. need the covering, man. Right. You see? I can read it. Let's go talk. You got it. Go ahead. I got a quick little precept. This is uh, Isaiah 42 and verse 9. Mm -hmm. Behold, the former things are come to pass, mm -hmm. and new things do I declare. Mm -hmm. Before they spring forth, I tell you of them. That's right, man. Mm -hmm. How does he do that? To, to, to his servants, the prophets. Mm -hmm. You see? Surely the Lord will do nothing but he reveal the secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. Mm -hmm. The Lord speak by the mouth of his prophets. Luke chapter 1 and verse 17, man. Okay? That's it, man. No going, no going around it, man. Go back to Psalms 91. We're going to finish that out. Oh, uh... Come, if you got precepts, you can get them in the meantime too. But hold second Ezra 9 and, and verse mm -hmm. 9. We go after after uh Psalms 91, we're gonna go into that because this going in this Psalms 91 really explained to you the future things that's gonna happen, but how he's gonna deliver his elect. Mm -hmm. And so we gonna use what you got through the spare power of Yahweh Shimel Shai to talk about the two-thirds. What's gonna happen to them if they don't take heed? Okay, go ahead. This is Psalms 91. I'm gonna continue at verse 4. He shall cover thee with feathers, mm -hmm. and under his wings shall be thy trust. Right. This truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Right. That's speaking of the elect, man. Those who are here unto the words of the Lord. Go ahead. Thou shalt not be afraid by the terror by night, mm -hmm. and nor for the arrow that flies by day. Right. So a, a, a man in the Lord know that he's serving the Lord and know that he put in the work and, and, and have faith in the Lord, man. He, 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 he just going to continue to push through. The Lord going to have the spirit on him to keep pushing, man. Keep going. Meanwhile, everything's falling down around you, but you're good. Mm -hmm. You see? Read on. Uh, verse 6, Nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasted at noonday. Mm -hmm. A thousand shall fall at thy right side, mm -hmm. and ten thousand at thy right side, or slack you, at thy side, mm -hmm. and ten thousand at thy right side, but it shall not come nigh thee. Right, we, we, and, and we entering into that time, man. You seeing a lot of mass debt right now, but you, you soon start seeing numbers like that. You see? Read on. Only with thine eyes shall thou shall, shall I behold and see the reward of the wicked. Mm -hmm. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, mm -hmm. even the most high thy habitation. Mm -hmm. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thee, nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give the angels charge over thee to keep to keep in all thy ways. Right. They they shall bear up their in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Right. They shall tread upon the lion and, and adder. The young lion and the dragon shall trample under their feet, mm -hmm. because he has set love upon me. Mm -hmm. Therefore will I deliver him. Mm -hmm. I will set him on high, mm -hmm. because he hath known my name. It's very important to know the, the, the heavenly Father's name and his, and his son's name, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Read on. He shall call upon me. And I will answer, answer him. I will be him. I will be with him in trouble. Mm -hmm. I will deliver him and honor him. That's with right. long life will I satisfy him uh -huh. and show him my salvation. That's it, man. Now, that's what we want. We want salvation. At the end of the day, our top priority is salvation, man. To 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 get uh, uh get uh, Revelation twenty and verse six. The, 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 the end of the day, our top priority is salvation, man. You see, you want to escape the lake of fire, man. Mm -hmm. You see. Go ahead. This is Revelation chapter 20, verse 6. Mm -hmm. Blessed and holy is he 
that had part in the first resurrection uh -huh. of such the second death had no power, mm -hmm. but they shall be priests of the Most High right. and of of Hamashiach mm -hmm. and shall reign with him a thousand years. And that's what we hope and pray for, man. Okay, that's that's our expectation is to be delivered, man. You see, real quick, uh, you right, get uh, Zechariah 13 and verse 8, and then we're gonna go to what you got to come. Keep holding second Ezra 9 and 9. Yeah, I'm this is Zechariah 13 and verse 8. Uh -huh. It shall come to pass uh -huh. that in all lands shall save the Lord. Uh -huh. Two parts therein shall be cut off. Right, and that's talking about right here in the daughter of Babylon. Okay, two thirds of our own people, Israelites. Okay, they, they ain't going to repent, so they're going to die to death, man. Yep. Okay, read on. Two thirds, two, two parts therein shall cut off, shall be cut off and die, mm -hmm. but the third shall be left therein. The third is going to be the delivered, man. Go ahead. And I will bring the third part through the fire, mm -hmm. and refine them as silver is refined, uh -huh. and I will try them as gold is tried, mm -hmm. and they shall call upon my name, mm -hmm. and I will hear them. Uh -huh. I will say, it is my people, uh -huh. and thou shalt say, the Lord is my power. Right, so that's in the future, the time to come. That's prophecy within itself. Mm -hmm. It's all about prophecy. Now, read what you got to come. This prophecy also. Go ahead. Back to second Ezra. Yeah, verse 9. Back to second Ezra, chapter 9. Verse nine. Right. So those who not those who not repenting, those who not seeking the Lord, they up at the club throwing mm -hmm. up bottles and trying to be in mirth when we're not in the time we're not in the time of mirth, but they're in that Bacchus spirit. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, they're in the Halloween spirit. Right, 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 right. Verse nine. Uh -huh. Then shall they be in they then shall they be in pitiful case. Right. And mm -hmm. I remember looking up that word pitiful that goes into pathetic. You're gonna be looking pathetic mm -hmm. in that time, man. You see? You're gonna be looking stupid. Because you ain't trust you, you never listened to the word of the Lord when the man of the Lord was out on the highways and byways and warning you, man. Thirty-three and thirty-three. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right. That is how those that a prophet had been among you, man. You see? Go ahead, Coco. Then shall they be in pitiful case, mm -hmm. which not have abused my ways. Right. And they that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Right. For such as in their life have received the benefits. Right. And have not known me. You receive benefits in the end. You ain't know the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. All right? You have your job, you know? You have your foot, your hand, your limbs. All you mean have so much so much things. But you ain't you ain't seeking the Lord. You ain't showing the Lord that reverence, that respect, that fear. Okay? Waking you up another day, giving you another chance, another opportunity to seek him. You ain't seeking him. Go ahead. Verse 11, and they that have lost my law, mm -hmm. while they had yet liberty. Right, mm -hmm. this grace period. Uh -huh. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, mm -hmm. understood not, mm -hmm. but despised it. Mm -hmm. The same, the same must know it after death by pain. Mm -hmm. And that's how it's going to be. That's how it's going to be. Because they ain't seeking the Lord. They ain't trying to repent. Mm -hmm. They just out in the street shaking their ass. Yep. A lot of these women, you know. These, a lot of them niggas out there that's trying to commit adultery with, with other men's wives and, you know, murdering their brothers, you know, with all what's going on, they still can't see, uh, uh, they still not uh, uh, seeing the times that they're in to change their life and repent, mm -hmm. you know? They, they just, they, they, so to speak, they say they roll it until the wheels fall off, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. You got some Kabar? Yeah. Come on. Uh, just make you up. The Second Chronicles chapter fifteen, verse thirteen. Mm -hmm. It says that whosoever mm -hmm. would not seek the Lord Yahweh, see my side that power uh -huh. of Israel should be put to death, uh -huh. whether small or great, right. whether man or woman. Right. <laughs> so, so, so what the law gonna do with you if you're not if you're not gonna get right? Mm -hmm. You know that's why the scripture said, why should you be stricken anymore? Get that. Get out. Isaiah one. Uh, Isaiah one. Mm -hmm. Sick, you know, yeah, because the Lord give you so much opportunity and so much time to get yourself right. But mm -hmm. I mean, what are you gonna do with you? You know, if you're not looking to get right, who got it? I'm getting ready. Right Start at one. This is Isaiah chapter one and verse one. Mm -hmm. The vision of Isaiah, the son of a Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Isaiah. Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah, mm -hmm. hear all heavens and give ear, O earth, for the Lord have spoken. I have nourished and brought up children, uh -huh. and they have rebelled against me. They have rebelled against the Lord, man. You see? Go ahead. The ox knows his owner, and the ass his master's crib. Right. 
But Israel does not know my people does not consider. Two dumb animals, man. They know their master. Right. But our people, them, <laughs> they act like they don't know the creator mm -hmm. of the heavens and the earth, man. Oh. You know? Go ahead. A sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, a seed of evildoers. Children that are corruptors, they have forsaken me, the Most High. They have provoked the Holy One of Israel into anger. They have gone away backward. Mm -hmm. Why should you be stricken anymore? Yea, we revolt more and more. Mm -hmm. The whole head is sick mm -hmm. and the whole heart faint. For from the sole of the foot, even unto the head, there is no soundness in it, mm -hmm. but wounds and bruises. And that's and our people, man. <laughs> Go ahead. And, and purifying store shores, mm -hmm. they have not been closed, neither bound up, neither mollified with ointment. Your country is desolate. Your cities are burned with fire, your land strangers devour in your presence, mm -hmm. and it is desolate as overthrown by strangers. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. And the daughter of Zion is left as a cottage in the vineyard, mm -hmm. as a lodge in the garden of cucumbers, as a besieged city. Right. That's it. That's what we need on that. You see that? To the point that we, we even lose our own land, man. Kicked out of our own land. Mm -hmm. You know? We, we rebelled against the most high, trans against the most high's laws. Mm -hmm. You know, we just keep going off and off and off and off and just won't get it right, man. You got to get it right, man, especially in these times. You see, that's why the Lord ain't dealing with all Israel in these times. Like when we came up, came up out of ancient Egypt, mm -hmm. he brought the whole nation of Israel, okay, out of, out of Egypt. This time he only dealing with his elect. Right. You see, he only dealing with his elect this time, man. You see? So that's why I would behoove you to seek the Lord, man. Get into these scriptures, man. Get into the prophecies, man. Speak the words of the Lord, man. You know? Tell your people uh, 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 about what's going on, man. You know? Prophesy to them, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Because that's what we got to do. We got to talk about what's happening and what's coming. We got to warn the people. Son of man, I've made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words of my mouth and give them warning for me. That's what the Lord said. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel 3.17. We are here to give them warning that let them know that salvation is open up unto them. All right? Seek the Lord and repent, man. Mm -hmm. All right? For those who will hear it, because at the end of the day, we only can plan the water, as the scriptures say. All right? But it's the most high who will give the increase. Our job is only to tell them. What they do with that is on them. You see? But you got something? Yeah, I got something. Oh, there, you, 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 you. This is Revelation chapter uh, 1, verse 2. Mm. Blessed is he that readeth, right. and that, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, mm -hmm. and keep those things which are written therein, mm -hmm. for the time is at hand. Right, and it says blessed. That's how it started. It says blessed. Read it again. Blessed mm -hmm. is he that readeth, right. and they that hear the words of this prophecy, mm -hmm. and keep those things that... And keep those things which are written therein right. for the time is at hand. It's, you said that we spoke about that earlier. Blessed are you, man, mm -hmm. because your eyes you see. Blessed are your, your eyes for they see. We see not to, to shoot that jump shot, man, through right. the spirit and power of your Bashim mm -hmm. You see, we didn't have the words of the Lord. You know, a lot of people don't have that, bro. They just go ahead. The scripture said the simple believe in every word, man, but the prudent man look well to his going. You know what I'm saying? Now some some of these fools are there, oh, oh, I gotta keep my job. Ray Ray and Pookie, I gotta keep my job. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? They ain't took they ain't think twice before they said, oh, where, where, where do you want where do you want to, where, where do you want to stick the needle? <laughs> yep. It doesn't matter to them. They they just going with it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, like sheep. Yeah, man. To add to what you were saying, you know, these prophecies they're just extremely important because right. they're they're, uh, they're like a spiritual GPS. Mm -hmm. There you, you go. Know? And, and what is what is the GPS leading you to? That's salvation. Right. Because we're reading on two very uh, important prophecies, man, and mm -hmm. that's Revelation chapter thirteen, verse sixteen, mm -hmm. and the return of the Lord. Right. You know, so that that's why we that's why prophecies are so important because we need to be able to discern the times through how through prophecies so we know when Yahweh Shah is gonna come back and right. we could and we could have a, and we could uh, boost up our faith. All right. So those prophecies that's why prophecies are extremely important. You know, right. and, and some, you know, like these other uh you know camps, they just be talking about the nukes this, the nukes that, the nukes this, the nukes that. But Revelation chapter 14, verse 10 tells you that those who took the MOTB are gonna be uh, tormented with fire and brimstone. So right. Yeah, that's that's the consequences of it, mm -hmm. right? You know, we we, we we still got little other prophecies too. Like, uh, well, they're not little at all by no measure. Jacob's trouble. We spoke about it earlier, mm -hmm. and Second Judges fifteen and sixteen invading, man invading one another, man. Okay, mm -hmm. tribulation. Okay, man invading one another for the lack of bread. 
You see, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able, mm -hmm. you know. The love of many waxing cold. Right, the love of many waxing cold. We see that every day on the news. You look on the TV, someone shot, somebody stabbed, and it's all judgment. Mm -hmm. You see? Okay, who, who, who said they had some? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, going back to this, you know, uh, I didn't finish on the second of the 15. I'm going to start at verse 1 again. Okay. This is, behold, behold, the second is chapter 15, verse 1. Mm -hmm. Behold, speak thou in the, in the ears of my people the words of prophecy, right. which which I will put in thy mouth, said the Lord. Mm -hmm. Verse 2, and cause them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. Right. All right. So the words, I mean, the words that we're reading, you know, which is where it's inspiration of Yahweh Shimon Shai are faithful and true. Mm -hmm. You know, why are we able to say that with all boldness and confidence is because they are coming to pass. And there not only go. that, they came from Yahweh Shimon Shai. Right. You know, the Lord is not a liar, man. Mm -hmm. All right. The first three, it says, fear not the imaginations against thee. Mm -hmm. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. Right. So you're going to have scoffers, man. You're going to have people speaking against this truth, you know, because why? Because they don't ultimately they don't believe, man. Right. All right. So those who scoff against us, man, ought to help with them, man. Right. All right. Because why? Because the the prophecies are still going to come to pass. Right. Man. You know the word to the Lord stand true, faithful okay. and true. All right. Mm -hmm. And and those who don't believe, read verse four. Um, gonna bring it plain. It says verse right. four: For all the unfaithful mm -hmm. shall die right. in their unfaithful. unfaithfulness. You know, mm -hmm. unfaithful being unfaithful means you don't believe. Right. So you believe you don't believe that you know. Uh, um, it's a so-called so-called black man about to crack the sky. All right. right, that's good for you. you know? Right, right. But Yahweh should come back. He gonna he, right. he gonna take care of you, man. Right. You don't believe that his men is gonna be beamed up by way of uh, what the world called UFOs? The UFOs. Yeah. Okay, which uh, are the vehicles of our salvation, the chariots of Israel. You don't wanna believe that? You you get stuck right here at the lake of fire because you didn't believe right. it's gonna happen. You know, right. you got it. And it says, um. Verse 5, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, mm -hmm. famine, death, and destruction. All right? So mm -hmm. these are these are things that are about to come to pass. Right. right. All right? You got the sword, you know, modern-day gun, not, not only that. You, uh -huh. got the, you got the weapons You got the weapons of Esau. Right. All right? You got famine. You got to have both famine of the word. Mm -hmm. Then you got famine of um, food. Right. And, you know, water. Right. You know, things of that being uh, very scarce. Uh-huh. And we understand through scripture, even though in those times, the men of the Lord are going to be okay. Right. You have death. You know, you're going to have people dying from pestilence, people killing one one see another. You know, Lord is just putting people to death mm -hmm. and destruction, man. Right. All right. So verse 6, for a wickedness had a silly polluted the whole earth, mm -hmm. and their hurtful works are fulfilled, man. And all these things that we just went into right now are all part of prophecy. Right. right. All right. All these things are part of prophecy, and these are going to come to pass, man. Right. Yeah. Jump down to 14 on that. God, this is Second Edges 15, verse 14. It says, Woe, <laughs> is spirit, mm -hmm. woe to the world and mm -hmm. them that dwell therein, man. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. That word woe once again goes into destruction. destruction. Right. And oh, verse 15. Verse 15 yeah, says, go down, read down to 19. Huh, verse 15 For the sword and their destruction draw nigh, right. and one people shall stand up to fight against another. Right. See, so these future prophecies, these are things that are about to come. That's why we tell you it's all about prophecy. Go ahead. This is and swords in their hands. Mm -hmm. And what's the modern modern day sword? Is the so called gun. gun? Is the gun? I don't even say so called. Is the actual gun? Yeah, right? it's the gun. Mm -hmm. All right. Verse 16 For mm -hmm. there shall be sedition among men mm -hmm. and invading one another. And they shall not regard their kings nor princes, and mm -hmm. the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Right. And um, a great example of that, you know, is the movie Purge, man. Right. You ever watched them? Is the most recent one, The Forever Purge, man. Right. You got nobody give a fuck about what the government is saying. Nobody give a fuck about what the police was saying. The scripture man. said that they, they, should, they shall stand in their power. Mm -hmm. You know, go ahead. Verse 17, a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Mm -hmm. All right. And we understand martial law. Where martial law is going to even have it to a point that you're going to have checkpoints in the city. Right. right. And, and when, when when martial law is enacted, the Constitution goes out the window. Right. That's right. You see? That's Go right. ahead. Verse 18, for because of their pride, all right, the city shall be troubled, the houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. Mm -hmm. It says, verse 19, it says, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor. Right. But shall destroy their houses mm -hmm. with the sword mm -hmm. and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread. Right. And and for great tribulation. That's it. So your your old your neighbor who you you and him live together 10, 15 years, you think you and him good. Mm -hmm. In that time, he could be watching your ass, man. Mm -hmm. He yep. want what's in your house. <laughs> like house. He wants your food. <laughs> he wants your woman. Yep. He, that's the time that you're coming into, man. You see why you need a covering? That's why you need a covering, man. <laughs> you see? Mm -hmm. 
It's all about prophecy, man. And it's so much happening. That's right. So man. much happening. They're going right now tit for tat with, with, with Russia, Ukraine. And right now, uh, 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 hey, man, they just take out what? The, the North Stream pipeline. Someone, mm -hmm. they sabotage that. All right? Right? Russia start uh, sending more missiles in different cities in Ukraine. All right? What they did? They take out the Crimean uh, bridge. Bridge, yeah. Okay? You see? So basically, they're going tit for tat. Who knows what's going to be next? Right. You see? You gonna tell me these prophecies are not real, man? You are you out of your mind? Okay? It's all about prophecy, man. You see? So at the end of the day, hey man, this is a, this is this is this has been um it's all about prophecy. Um hopefully you were edified. We're gonna close out on that. We're gonna give go ahead and give all honor and glory. Anybody have any more precepts? God, I got one. Go ahead, real quick. Uh this is the book of Second Peter, uh -huh. um <clears throat> chapter one, verse nineteen. Uh huh. We have also a mercer word of prophecy right, unto ye do well that ye that ye take heed right. as unto a light that shineth in a dark place uh -huh. right. unto the day dawn uh -huh. and the day star arise in your hearts uh -huh. and the day star is your house shine. That's right. Verse twenty. Knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. Beautiful. For the, for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men right. of the Most High. Speak as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. That's it, man. Right. The Holy Spirit. That's right. That's so you see, it's, it's not our words. It's the words of the Heavenly Father, man. Right. Mm -hmm. It's the Lord's word. We speak in His words. That's why we tell you it's all about prophecy. You see? So right. we're going to end it there. Uh, you, you had something quick, quick? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh, uh, Lord willing, you are edified. We're going to go ahead and give our honor and glory to close it out. Give our honor and glory and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone and taught us this truth and rule well. Salutation and salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth and truth and in sincerity and in charity. All right? Until the next time, we say Shalom. 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 Shalom.